This is an operating systems question based upon process synchronization and multi-threading. We have this multi-threaded code segment given to us in a mix of C and pseudo code, which means in the C-like language, the piece of code has been given that signifies the synchronization mechanism that is being used for these threads. There are two processes that are invoking it, P1 and P2. And each of these processes spawns two threads, P1 and T2, which means process P1 as well as process P2 each creates two threads, T1 and T2. So now what they are saying, which of these statements is or are true regarding the value being printed by this program. So let us have a look at this code. It is declaring a global variable X initialized to zero. And then there is a log L1 that will be used as the synchronization mechanism. Then there is this main function in which the process is creating its first thread T1 and that T1 will go and execute this function foo. In the next line, this thread T2 is being created, which will again execute this program function foo over here. And the same thing is done for both the processes p1 and p2 then we wait for the two threads to finish their execution and then finally we print the value of x so now let us have a look at what happens in this function foo it is initializing a local variable y as zero and the global variable x is already zero for the first time then the thread acquires a log l1 so this lock here will ensure that there is mutual exclusion between them so at a time only one thread will be executing this program and what it is doing incrementing the value of x by one so now x becomes one also y becomes one after both these operations are performed it releases the lock and prints the value of y so for the first time what is the value of y that will be printed it is one but because this y was a local variable what happens when this same function is called again for the second time by another thread the same lines of code will run again y will be reinitialized to zero but x being a global variable it will stay at one only it will not be changed back to zero so now what happens y has become zero this is the second iteration for the same function we are doing. The next thread which is executing it, it acquires this lock, performs both the increment operations. So x will now be incremented to two and y being local, it will be simply incremented to one. So then it releases the lock and prints the value of y. So y will again be printed as one only because it is local to this function so as many times as we execute this function the same value y equal to one will be printed in every iteration but for x it is global so it is not reinitialized between the consecutive function calls so by the end what has happened is y has been printed as one both the times and x has become two so here we return after performing the function call at foo here again we return after both these function calls x has become two but it has not been printed yet because printing occurs afterwards wait for the two threads to finish execution both the threads will be simultaneously executing this piece of code but after one execution x would have become one but we will not be printing it we will be waiting for the two threads to finish their execution means we will wait to achieve the final value of x after one iteration it has become one and after the next iteration it has become two and then when both have completed their execution finally we print that value of x so here what will be printed will be two because this print statement is executed after both the threads have finished their execution so what do we print y is printed as one two times by each of the threads and when both are done then x is printed only once and the value printed is two 
so this is what we get as the output from this piece of code we'll just have a look at the options first is saying that both p1 and p2 will print the value of x as 2 so this we saw for one of the processes because process p1 it had two threads t1 and t2 which performed this particular thing first we assume that t1 executed and it made x equal to 1 then t2 executed the same function and it made x equal to 2 so that is what has happened for one of the processes and here both the processes are doing the same thing same piece of code is being executed so both will print value of x as 2 so this is correct then at least one of p1 and p2 will execute the value of x as 4 x will not become 4 as we saw for both the processes we will begin with x equal to 0 and its two threads will make it 1 and 2 so the final value of x printed is 2 itself not 4 then option c is saying that at least one of the threads will print the value of y as 2 y never becomes 2 because it is a local variable so every thread will print its value as 1 itself both t1 and t2 in both the processes will print the value of y as 1 so this is the output for p1 and in the same way for p2 will also get the same output 1 1 2 all of them are printing the value of y as 1 only so this is also correct so we got options a and D both to be correct in this.